Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're here from Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 19. So, last episode, uh, we, well, we took a week break last week uh, as we get into the second uh, half of the second part of Season 2. Um, we took a break last week, but the episode before that was really, really good. It was Turning Point 3. Uh, we already got a note from, um, from Geese saying that they were having difficulty rescuing Zenith and that they needed help. And then he was grappling with the decision to either go or stay because... Uh, Sylphie is now pregnant, as she also announced last episode, and the man-god told him that he should stay. Uh, but he's going against the man-god's wishes, and he is, uh, going to go and help his family at the end of the day. Uh, because he saw Norn literally trying to leave, uh, and, and she was cry- literally, like, crying, because at the end of the day, she can't go no matter how much she wants to. Uh, Rudy is the only one capable of that, and it finally kind of clicked in his head that, yeah, I am the only one capable of going in my family to save the rest of our family. My sisters are fucking worried sick. So he has decided to go at the end of the day. And uh, the man got told Rudy that no, no matter what decision Rudy makes, he, um, he will regret it. No matter what decision Rudy makes, he will 100% regret it. So, we'll see where that leads. Uh, turning point three. Uh, was very very good very good episode per usual I, I clarify this in every single one of these videos I am a light novel reader I stopped reading the books like he oh, at this point two years ago uh, if not more by now but um, I, I I I was a light novel reader I, I am not, like I have read this chunk of the series um, I had some bits are fuzzy and whatever it may be uh, typical uh, reaction content creator speaking about they've uh, uh when they've read a series beforehand whatever it may be um but i genuinely there's some parts i remember some parts i don't we're gonna be so you'll and and obviously think watching things in an anime format is a lot different than reading them in a book uh uh per se but uh yeah i just i always clarify that but these reactions are gonna be non-spoiler uh that's how it's been for this entire series uh since i started doing reactions to season two like almost a year ago at this point i have always made sure to uh, uh do non-spoiler reactions and at the very end there will be a sectioned off spoiler section so if you're also a light novel reader you can um, um come and have those discussions with me then um, so yeah, just I always clarify that in every one of these videos. So per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description below. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime, past anime, current manga, and past manga, and have non-anime conversations as well. And as far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all of my reactions. So feel free to check out either of those of your own will. But now, without further ado, let's hop straight into straight into Mashoku Tensei Season Two, Episode Nineteen. Yeah, but she she even last episode was telling him to go. She 100% last episode was literally telling Rudy to go. Like she because I think she said, "Don't worry about me. Your sisters are also really worried," or something like that. Eight months each way, huh? Hooray for the wisdom of age. <laughs> yeah, I think Rudy was thinking about it for a second. Yeah, no, she's already said she doesn't want to do it with you. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, he's off to talk to a certain Nanahoshi. Yeah, 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 here we go. If I remember correctly what's happening here. If this is not, if this doesn't end up happening in this episode, then I'll just blur this section out. But I'm pretty sure this is only content that's going to happen in this episode. I'm pretty sure at this point, uh, she tells him about like teleportation circles and that's how him and Alina Lees are going to get there quicker. Yep. Okay. My lips were sealed. A certain someone didn't want her saying that. Yeah, 
Damn. That's huge. Yeah, you already do so much for her. That's huge. That is actually huge. He just cut the journey by so much, by an incredible amount. The fact that she's totally okay with it and... Sylphie is just too good. I, Sylphie is just like, seriously, she's the best. Like, like she is just legitimately the best. The fact that she had, there wasn't a single pipe of complaint out of her mouth. She was like, okay, go help your family. Like, she's the, she's the best. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. あ、ちょっと待って。ああ、この。ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま
you cannot get over this feeling of adventure from the Mushoku Tensei anime. It, it is second to none. Like this feel, it's just some, it gives you some type of feeling when you see Rudy going on some new adventure in this vast world. Like all these scenery shots are so fucking cool. Literally just this shot here of them walking through this vast forest is so cool for no reason. It just looks so good. And it really instills in the viewer this feeling of adventure that I don't think I ever get from any show. Like it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Purge the barrier. The reach of his magnificent arms. <laughs> That's so cool. I have been waiting for so long to see how they animate teleportation and god am i fucking excited to see it actually done i've been waiting for so long yeah just some stairs that go straight down Let's see where we're headed here yeah, because uh, he, he got this book, uh, um, uh, yeah. Okay, Th this was definitely a good book to bring along. He was talking about how he got it from um, the guy earlier, the, the principal guy, I forget his name. Yep, mm. the perfect use for it. Wait, that means he didn't get it. <laughs> That means he didn't get it from the guy earlier in the episode. He got two different books. I already forgot what books they were, but he got this one with Sylvie. Oh no. Yep. He kind of was kind of teleported to the demon continent, so um, his experience with teleporters is not ideal, to be honest. Uh, and they're here. Place is dusty as hell. <笑>いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。いや。
That looks so cool. What the fuck? That looks awesome. Seems like they found a little city on the way. And this is so cool. This feel of adventure. I'm loving it so much. <laughs> yep, they're standing in the little stone hut again. Yep. She's gotta, um, handle that curse. Uh. Jesus, these are some tall cliffs. <laughs> yeah. Must be convenient. Ooh. I love the animations going so crazy and I love it so much. Oh, they got one on either side. Whoa. Oh, it dodged. Okay, Rudy. Hell yeah. And she's pretty readily handing her readily handling her fight as well. There you go. W combo there. I love how well they work together. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. She's licking those fingers. そういえば、16歳ぐらいですか右も左もわからないコムスメでパウロにナンパされて連れてこられましたのよ。エリナリーゼさんに何か謝りたいみたいな感じでしたけど、聞いても聞かない方がいいですね。Oh yeah, it seems like she Hmm. Yeah, she's had this strong hatred for Paul since we first met her back in season one. Long time ago. She is uh, she has not let go of it. Holy shit. <coughs> I just got attacked by a sneeze. This place is huge. What on earth? This place is so much cooler than I thought it would look. I can't even lie. This place is so much cooler looking than I thought it would be. Genuinely, this place is so fucking cool looking. That's it. We've now made it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I like I couldn't be happier. The animation has been kind of meh. I'll just be I'll, I'll be the first person to say it. The animation has been meh for the fir first part of season two was meh. The second part has had better animation for some of the harder hitting episodes like the Norn episode looked great. Um, and and uh, turning point three looks great. But this was the best animation we've seen all season. All of season two first part and second part in this episode here. And oh, I'm so excited. We're just getting the adventure started, man. I'm so excited. Um, I, I like, I just, the it's just, it feels so good to be back in like an adventure state. Like I said, the school arc in the anime was just all right. I think it was way better, way more enjoyable. In the light novels, that is what it is. But you get to a setting like this where you're adventuring in the Shoku Tensei, truly it is like second to none in terms of like fantasy series and isekai and whatever it may be. I think Freerun did a fucking awesome job with adventuring as well, but I don't know. I get this feeling from the Sugar Tensei when they go on adventures and whatever it may be that I don't get from other series, if that makes any sense. It's really hard to explain, but it is just a feeling I get with this series in particular. But next episode, we're into the labyrinth, but I, and I don't think I really have much else to talk about non-spoiler-wise. This is a great episode. Uh, I think we're now moving into volume 12, I believe. I could be wrong about that. But uh, yeah, the adventure, uh, the adventure to, um, to uh, the village, Roppongi, is now over. So, uh, Rudy and Alinalees have arrived, and we will see where we go with that next episode. Uh, but as far as non-spoiler go, I think that is going to wrap it up for my reaction. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope we all have a good day. And now let's hop into spoiler discussion. Like I was saying, this is definitely the best animation of the entire series so far. Well, the entire season two so far. Um, 100%, just even for even some of these basic fights in their adventure, the animation was done really well, uh, which was awesome. <laughs> Still not as good as season one. Season one's animation was utter peak, but it, it was it was better. I really like how they did the teleportation circles and how Rudy broke the um, kind of veil on it. And then this right here, let's see if I can find it. It's while he was waiting for her to get back. That is, I don't know if people are gonna realize it off rip, that is literally just a J Orsted's jacket. That's all that is. That's one of his jackets. Like, they, they literally throw it in your face that Orsted is involved with this kind of stuff. It's right there. 
it's right there that is his jacket in this place so they throw it right at you that Orsted is immediately involved with this kind of stuff um, which I think is really good foreshadowing for what's going to come later. Uh, more season three stuff. Uh, but yeah, the succubus, I do remember that. I do remember Rudy getting overtly horny. I feel like it lasted longer. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I, I unironically can't remember. Um, but yeah, some of the monsters they fight and everything. Uh, they, they definitely condensed it, 100%. The adventure with Rudy and Alina Lee's was 100% condensed down in the show. I remember it taking much longer in the anime, uh, in, the, in the light novel, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. What's upcoming is what I hope they take their time with. So I'm fine with them, with them rushing this. We got some Rudy and Alina Lee's bonding, which was awesome. And, um, yeah, I, like, I'm so fucking excited for Volume 12 to be adapted. I'm so excited. We've got four episodes, uh, to adapt this final arc of season two and I am so excited with, with how the animation was in this episode if they can keep that up for the rest of this arc we're gonna be sitting pretty and I'm so I, I have I, the way with the way they did the Norn episode I have whole faith that they will do this arc justice the Norn episode was kind of a big thing like if they don't do this well it's gonna make me nervous but the Norn episode fucking killed it the Norn episode was phenomenal in all regards, and if they can, I, I truthfully believe they can keep that up uh, here in season two, uh, or to wrap up season two. Honestly, even for spoiler discussion, I don't have much this episode. Uh, the Nanahoshi thing here at the beginning um, was necessary. I don't remember if it actually happened like this, where he went and talked to her, and immediately she was just like, "Yeah, I got teleportation circles for you." I can't. I feel like there was more dialogue there. I mean, obviously, there's more dialogue in any conversation than the light novels, but overall, her giving it to him, I'm glad they showed that she was a little nervous to do it because she's not supposed to, but it will aid her research and what, uh, when, if he gets back faster. Um, and then, obviously, this scene was really good. <laughs> him, uh, him comforting Sylphie and whatever it may be. And then just them two watching as they go to kiss was... <laughs> and him winking was so funny. But yeah, it, it is it is adventure time, and we we have made it. Uh, we have made it now. We are now at Rapongi, and in comes the Labyrinth Arc. I'm so fucking excited. I'm so excited. When Rudy said he had that book uh, earlier in the episode, I almost I, I almost let it out because like I'm pretty sure he uses that book when they get there, because the the Labyrinth is a teleportation labyrinth, which we don't know in the anime yet. I don't think. I don't think they've talked about that in the anime yet. So me saying that would have spoiled what the labyrinth is uh, because that book comes very much in handy whenever he gets there and um, he needs to navigate what each teleportation circle does so they can make it through the labyrinth and whatever it may be. I'm super excited though. Next episode, we might be uh, rescuing Roxy. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen next episode or if it's going to happen the episode after, but uh, one of these next two episodes, it is it is time to rescue Roxy from the labyrinth. I'm super excited to see how it plays out, how they how they animate it and adapt it and all of the above. But overall, this episode gave me a lot of hope for the upcoming arc, and I'm beyond excited to see how they end up adapting it. But I think that is going to wrap it up for my action to Michelle Tensei Season 2, Episode 19. Hope you guys did enjoy, and hope you all have a good day.